In this guide we're going to look at toggle button and drop list controls. We will start with check boxes and radio buttons because they are the ones you see most often. So let's start by adding a couple of check boxes. Here's the first one, we'll move it up here. Here's the second one, we'll move that one up here. And we can change the text. We'll select the first one and come here. There's checkbox one, and then do the same here. We can also change their initial state. Let's start the first checkbox selected. Okay, so let's see this in action. There's our two checkboxes. We can set or deselect them independently. Radio or option buttons are usually grouped together in such a way that selecting one deselects the others. Radio buttons can only be added to an option group control, so first we must add an option group. An option group is an invisible control, so it does not appear in the form view, but does appear in the controls view. We can see that here, there it is. So make sure it is selected, and then add some radio buttons. So let's add some radio buttons. Here's the first one, put it up here, second one, put it up here, and third one, put it here. Again, we can change the text, let's scroll down here, select option one, and find the text, oh, there we go, and then the next one. And the third one. And again, we can decide which one will start as selected. So we'll start with the, the middle one being the selected. OK, so let's have a look at that in action. OK, so there's our checkboxes again. And now we have the radio buttons. Notice that when we select one, it cancels the previous selection. The drop list control allows a user to select a single option from a list of options, so as an alternative to using radio buttons. So let's add a drop list control. Here it is. And we'll move this up here. And we'll make it a bit wider. So here is the control. To add the options, click on the option list file attribute in the properties grid. So if we sort of come down here, there we go, options list file, click on here. And this opens a simple editor for you to type in the options. Each option should be on its own line. When you click OK, they will be saved in a file inside your sketch folder. The name of the file is generated by GUI Builder and should not be changed. The next thing to do is specify the maximum number of options that will appear in the drop-down list. The default is 3, but we can change it to 5. Let's try out our drop list control. So we've got our check boxes, radio buttons, and if we click here, we have all the options. And if we can't see them all, we can scroll down. Notice that there's only five showing in the drop list because that's the maximum to show. If I select number nine, and whenever you ask for the drop list, it will always show the currently selected item, if necessary, scrolling to it. So that's our drop list control. The final control we're going to look at is the image toggle button. So let's add an image toggle button. Notice the default visual appearance looks like a light switch and has just two states. We can also change the image. Let's add another control and we'll change the image for this one. So we go over to the mouse off image, click and find the image we're interested in. So it's in images, it's called bulb. So it has two images, two tiles. So we'll click that, use image. So there's our 
control. It still has just two states. Let's add another image toggle button and create a multi-state control. So we're going to change the image again and we're going to use this one. This image has 16 tiles and a 4x4 grid. So we need to tell GUI Builder. So we change these values here both to 4. OK, so there's our button. Let's move it over here. We can also select a mouse over image. We'll do that now. There it is. And use image. So let's see our final sketch in action. Here's our switch. Here's our light bulb. And here's our 16 state switch. And our drop list will appear over the top when we use that. So there you are for toggle buttons and drop list controls. The last thing that I like to do is look at the folder for this sketch. In the folder we have the two source code files, toggles.test.pde and GUI.pde, which is generated by GUI Builder. In the data folder, we have, again, the images that we use for our buttons, but also a text file for our options in our drop list control. And that's it for this guide. Thank you much for joining, and I hope you found it useful.